Insta360 Flow Quick Start Guide. Unboxing. Let's take a look at Insta360 Flow. Open the box and take out Flow and its accessories. Here's what you will find. Unfolding. Attach the smartphone to Flow before unfolding. Attach the smartphone to the magnetic phone clamp. The camera icon on the phone clamp should be pointing up. Make sure the phone clamp is in the center of the smartphone. Attach the clamp to the magnet on the gimbal. Grip the pan arm and gently pull the handle down. The gimbal will automatically power on and start to stabilize. The gimbal is now in quick grip and is ready for on-the-go shooting. Flow also comes with a grip cover for a more comfortable grip on the handle. It is recommended to use classic grip. Partially extend the built-in tripod and slightly tilt the hinge area of the selfie stick. This provides a more comfortable hold and a better shooting angle. Storage. After filming, fold the gimbal before taking off your phone. First, turn the pan arm in line with the handle. Tilt the hinge of the selfie stick to be straight. Push the built-in tripod with the palm of your hand. Turn the pan arm counterclockwise and pull the handle up. Make sure it is locked together. The gimbal will automatically power off. Remove the magnetic phone clamp from the gimbal and your smartphone. Charging. Flow has two USB-C ports. Insert the charging cable into the port on the side of the smart wheel to charge Flow. To charge your phone, insert the phone charge cable into the port by the magnet. Click the power button to start charging your phone. Activation. Before using this product, download the official Insta360 app. Turn on your smartphone's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions. Follow the steps in the app to complete activation and connect flow. After the activation is successful, you can use the Insta360 app features. iOS Auto App Connection. Once enabled, your phone will automatically detect when flow is powered on and display a notification to start shooting. Using the Insta360 app, enter the shooting page. On this page, you can view or change settings, playback footage, select target or click the trigger button to start Deep Track 3.0. Access Shot Genie. Tap the movie the icon or give a voice command, and the AI will recommend shooting templates tailored to the scene. Buttons. Flow has all the buttons to control the gimbal and phone fully. Power button. Press once to check the battery level. Press twice to enter sleep mode. You can exit sleep mode at any time by pressing any of the four buttons on the body of the gimbal. Shutter button. Press once to take a photo or to start or stop recording. Switch button. Press once to switch between the front and back cameras. Press twice to change the phone between horizontal and vertical positions. Joystick. The joystick controls the direction of the gimbal. Touch panel. Swipe your finger clockwise or counterclockwise on the touch panel for half a circle to switch to the next mode. Shooting tips. Extend the built-in selfie stick and tilt the hinge for more creative angles. Flow also has a built-in tripod. Make sure the tripod is fully extended before use. Use the built-in tripod to snap a photo or time-lapse. 
Insta360 Flow is the only gimbal with a built-in selfie stick and tripod. Use them for more flexible shooting. Underslung Grip Perfect for low angle shots. Low Grip Push through and low angle shots. Thanks for watching the Insta360 Flow Quick Start Guide. Stay tuned for more tutorials and see you next time.